Hey, what's up, guys? iPod Touch Helping here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys iOS 5, and I'm going to give you guys my opinions on it and just give you an overview of it. And we'll get right into it here. So, as you guys first see, it is looking pretty sweet. Nothing too special. No new applications really, except for new stand and reminders, which are pretty cool, as well as messages. But um, I'm going to get into those new applications in just a moment. First off, I'm going to start by showing you guys settings. If we scroll up, we've got a different UI. We got some UI changes, and I definitely do like that style a little bit more. I think it looks a bit better. Also in settings, one of my favorite things is in general, you can do iTunes Sync software updates really easily now just by a simple click of the button on your on your iPod Touch instead of having to plug your iPod into your computer you can now sync all your music and stuff like that on wirelessly which is going to be a really cool new feature and I'm looking forward to test that out another cool thing is iCloud and uh, basically it just lets you share all your information with all your different iDevices also new on iOS 5 is Newsstand which I'll open up right now and basically what Newsstand is is it just you're gonna be able to download magazines and newspapers and stuff like that right on your iPhone or iPod touch or iPad and you're gonna be able to just read them right there really easily and I think that's a pretty cool new app that they added another one is reminders I might use this I'm not really sure uh, they do have applications like this but this one is a little bit better that Apple made and I just made a couple of random uh, random notifications and reminders here and you guys can do some pretty sweet stuff you can check it off you can click on it and you can edit it and I don't know personally I don't think I'm going to use that application too much but I think it will be pretty cool you also have messages now on your iTouch and you also have this on your iPhone of course and your iPad and basically you're going to be able to um, talk to friends just like you would on BBM which is Blackberry Messenger and what that means is you can talk to someone else on an iPhone and you can tell when they've read it and you can also tell when they're writing and stuff like that so that's going to be definitely another new feature that is going to be pretty sweet on your i, I device. Um, another really good new feature is the notifications um, sadly I'm not able to show you guys that right now just because um, I'm on the beta firmware and I'm having some difficulties with it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you guys. Um, but that's too bad that I can show you guys that. But basically the new notification, guys, is really sweet. It's definitely going to be one of the best features out there. You're going to be able to uh, go through all your notifications very well. They're not going to be super annoying like when you're playing a game. And also right here on your lock screen, you're going to be able to see your new notifications. You're going to be able to just slide across up there. And it's going to be pretty sweet. Another thing is the camera. They have added a lot of new things to this camera, and I'll quickly show you guys here. It's pretty sweet. Um, I think uh, I will be using the few new features that are on here quite frequently. And as you guys can tell, we now have a thing up here that says options, and we'll click that. And what you can do is you can click on for grid, and also if you have an iPhone, you can click on for HDR. So here we are, we have a grid now, it's just going to be a bit easier to take photos, you know, we can use the volume button to take a photo, and I think that feature is going to be kind of cool, it's easier to tell, and of course you can still click on uh, different areas that you want to focus on. Um, we'll just quickly go into photos here, and you know, nothing too special about this either. But um, this is just a first look at iOS 5, guys. This is iPod Touch Helping here. Hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And, you know, do not ask me how to get iOS 5 yet. You cannot get this unless you are a developer. So just hold up, guys. Wait till you can get iOS 5. And um, that's pretty much it. This is iPod Touch Helping here. Hopefully you guys did like this video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.